All right, this is Calibos, and this is Enigmatica 2. Today I can even say the name. So, um, I was delayed in putting out an episode on Monday. So this is technically Monday's episode. I My schedule is a little different from the, the daytime schedule, so I, this is my, my late evening, effectively. Um... I have gone ahead and arranged for some things, and we will we will see what all of these things are for. So, uh, there we go. So this is grout, and I made two stacks of it. Here's the recipe. I spent a lot of time looking for. Uh, I actually specifically used this recipe. Uh, but I spent a lot of time looking for clay and gravel and sand, and then when I got back after finding enough, I discovered that I had a lot of it. So, you know, that's just how life is, I guess. Uh, but while this grout is cooking up, we... Uh, because, you'll see, I have a seared tank. Can you guess what we're going to do? And if your guess is uh, tinkers, then you are correct. So, another thing we're going to look at is quests. So, vanillas. We completed this one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, yeah. So, um, if we look at Journey Map, there's a plains right over here, just northwest of my village. Uh, there's a dungeon there, and at some point in a future episode, when I actually have armor, we are going to go investigate this dungeon. Now, um, let's see, I think it's this one? Yeah, so if you look at the very bottom of the screen, I would point, but you can't see it. Uh, it says oak leaves, gives coordinates, says, and then it says rainforest. So this actually has jungle saplings. So that is one of the places I, I went to get jungle saplings. Uh, there's birch laying around. And, I mean, I got spruce from from a quest. Now, if you go into Batania, you can actually turn any sapling into all of the vanilla saplings eventually. Uh, I have no idea which one of these I should take, so I'm going to wait for now and see if it becomes important. Um, there's no way I have this one yet. Uh, but we're going to get there. This one is going to require going to the nether. Um, and this is a checkmark one. So, this basically is a walkthrough on, on how to use just enough items, which is, you know, uh, sorry, inventory screen. And just enough items is the mod that gives you all of these cool recipes. Now, Vanilla now adds this book, I believe, but I'm not 100% convinced that it's a better version of this. Maybe I'm just used to just enough items, uh, or its predecessor, NEI, are, or not enough items. So we're going to check mark this because I'm, I'm pretty confident that I know how to look up items. I hope you guys do too. We'll take the middle one. We'll try to take the middle one. Oh, we still have to submit. Yay, back. Now we can go through. Still take the middle one. Claim. Looch chest. We have an advanced charged porter. That's, that's very cool. Not immediately useful. So, further quests. So that now opens up inventory tweaks. So this is, you know, for me, it's the, the middle mouse button. It just organized all that stuff. It's very cool. I am quite fond of it. It has another a number of other options that you can do with it. Um, so it will automatically fill um, stuff. So you may or may not have seen it happen but for example if I was placing sandstone I have one sandstone in the stack and I place it and then it fills it there 
That is awesome. Um, and it greatly speeds building. So, we know that it does that. We appreciate the mod. Whoever designed it is pretty awesome. Give this a second to check. Ah, sometimes you have to back out and then do it. I don't know why. Another quest complete. Observer. Uh, I think that these actually detect when blocks change status and then trigger redstone pulse, which is pretty cool. Um because it allows you to detect when plants are growing vanilla-wise, etc. And you can probably set a, uh, a counter so it ticks up, you know, when, when it has changed a certain amount of times, it, it auto-harvests it. Um, uh, so, that's that one. Uh, mouse tweaks. Mouse tweaks is moving stuff around inventories. Maybe that was the... Uh, Ah, this is the click and drag thing. So I don't know if you guys know about it. If you, um, well, there's a typo right there that, that just kind of leaped out at me. Um, so you can click items from one inventory to another. This is how I'm doing this in a shift drag. And then it, it like collects it all. It's very cool. And I have a feeling I just messed up the stuff that I was sorting, but whatever. So we know about that one. That's really cool. There's a lot of functionality to that. Uh, we have to keep going through. Archaic brick. We don't need any archaic brick right now. We'll take this. So now we have an unbreakable builder's wand. That is awesome. I don't know if you guys know what a builder's wand is. So say that I have sand there, and I'm like, I want to build a lot of sand. So... Builder's Wand makes it super fast. This is Bane Miner, which also makes it super fast. The combination of the two is pretty awesome. I'm going to leave this in my inventory. So, another quest completed. Man, we are just speeding through this stuff. Beating starvation. We'll get through this in a little bit. Um, normally, I, am go I would ignore cooking stuff, but... For two reasons, we're probably going to spend a little bit of time going through it, not today. Uh, you'll notice that I have four extra hearts now. Uh, see, they're, they're yellow instead of, of red. That means that I have extra hit points, and I tend to die a lot. So, oh, I have toughness. I don't know. Maybe that's because of the fruit. I need to drink more milk, clearly. Those are fairies, I think. Um... We'll kind of wander casually up here and try not to uh, get dead. So I've been upgrading my builder. You'll see that he really wants some stuff that I, I don't have. That's fine. We'll, we'll get around to it. Tinker's Construct. So this requires uh, a book and a thing. So let's, let's look into the possibilities of making a book. So a book requires paper and string. Oh, you know what? Might not have any paper. I think... I forgot the paper. I think I saw sugarcane around here, and I was intending to, to grab some of it and plant it. Sugarcane. There should actually be enough here to make the paper and then, then go. Got plenty of string. Thanks to uh, thanks to our, our happy spiders. Um, and the fact that I'm growing hemp. Um, so, I'm probably going to do immersive engineering for power um, at first. Um, I like water wheels, but in the recent past I have been absolutely terrible at, uh, you know, I, I shouldn't take all of it. In the recent past I have been terrible at getting the full 88 out of it, and I, I have to wonder to myself casually now that I'm thinking about if that's a Back to the Future reference or just kind of a casual accident. 
I don't know. It's a thing. So we're going to put, does it have to be, yeah, three paper. So we're going to put the rest of the sugar cane in here. See, there's that drag thing. I'm just, I'm just all over the place and awesome. Didn't I have a, here, here it is. So I just can't get away from the underground stuff. So book. So this requires two patterns and a string. I think I've got some patterns in this chest over here. I know I'm not very organized. And I'm sure everybody is like, well, not everybody, but the occasional person. Hi, Mr. Zombie. I see that you have set me on fire. And I have your brain. Let's see who's hungry now. So this is the remains of my house, thanks to my lumberjack. Book of herb lore. I was looking for patterns. I'm not precisely sure where they ended up. I had 30 of them. I can make more. 32. There they are. Oh. Man, I am super popular today. Theoretically, there are guards around here. So, patterns book. So this is a crafting station. Now, I am going to show you how to make a crafting station. Because I'll need a second one anyway. So, blanks. Crafting table. Crafting station. Ta-da! So we need to make a book. So let's place one of these crafting stations down. We'll place it here. This is very cool. It allows you to access the inventory. So now we're going to make a book. We need a piece of string. I grabbed some of this. String. Book. String. Ta-da! Now we combine a string. And now we have materials in new. Completes this quest which allows us to grab that one. My gosh, we're making serious progress today. Totally makes up for that last one, Ooh, ice cream. I have not eaten ice cream. I wonder, I'm not currently hungry. We're gonna hold that here for later then. So, that's done. Stencil table. We know how to do a stencil table. Uh, I know how to do a stencil table. This stencil table. Now, stencil tables are cool. They are actually. Oh, I thought I heard something. Weird. Um, parts to part builder. So, sten stencil tables allow you to. Um, I'm actually just going to put this down here for now. I don't know why. I just like putting them in the ground. Um, and this is typically what I end up doing. Um, let's look at these quests really quick. Tool repair. Part builder. So... Now we need a part builder. So this is a part builder. Quest complete. Now we also need a pattern chest, although it doesn't ask for one. This is how you build a pattern chest. Um, another thing that we're going to need is we're gonna take our, oops, crafting station. Part builder, okay, so we're gonna take this crafting station and we're gonna put a pattern on that, and now we have a tool station. This is the primary setup for, uh, let's grab that, tool repair. It didn't detect it, didn't hold it long enough. There we go. That's not. Okay, there's that. So, now,
my gosh, look at us. We're just ripping through this stuff. Ooh, dragon fruit sapling. Grass block. That's that's kind of cool, I guess. That is very cool. Later. Um, Alright. So, we're going to make stencils. Uh, I think what they're doing is they're actually just walking you through the basics. So I'm glad that this actually shows as complete. Um, because I would really have hated to have to make that again. Canopy tree sapling. Oh, that's actually really cool. So there's Twilight Forest in this. I maybe knew that. Maybe I did. So we are going to... looks like it wants us to make all of the basics for... Uh, for the stencils. So we'll follow this line, and then we're going to look at this line. Now this is actually going to be slightly problematic because I needed to make the seared tank. You'll notice that it has an inventory of lava. Um, well, I guess I can make a couple more bricks of it. It won't hurt excessively. Okay, we're just going to make eight really quick. I don't remember exactly how many I did, but eight is a very convenient number as far as that. Now, one of the difficulties that I'm, I'm having, but this isn't really a difficulty. Uh, this is actually a really cool thing. I'm going to come over and show you guys. I, I am enjoying this immensely. So come over here. This is the lumberjack. I don't remember if you guys saw this. Probably. Um, over here is the mine shaft. Now this is, I've already upgraded it to level two. Uh, and the reason is I'm very lazy and I do not want to uh, actually have to do mining myself. Uh, there are a number of ways to do that. First and foremost is to have somebody else do it for you. This is the restaurant. Um, I'm not sure why people don't eat except at a restaurant. Maybe that's a comment on modern life. I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I just know a lot of people who don't know how to cook. Uh, I'm not one of them, but, you know. So she serves food to everybody. Um... But theoretically, our delivery person, when they're actually working, will go ahead and take food from over, from the warehouse. Um, and the warehouse, of course, gets it from the baker, again, when they're delivering something. Um, and then when people are hungry, they go to the restaurant and they eat. Pretty cool. Uh, but the thing I wanted to show you was the miner. And the reason the miner is important to me is because the miner is going to collect a lot of, of ores for us. So we'll take this chest here. Boom. Um, nether smoker. I don't even know what that does. I'm guessing it smokes things. Like nether things. Um. I will look it up later. Quirk is, Quirk is actually a really cool mod. There's some uh, good stuff in it. Let's go to sleep. Um, it's done by Vasky, who is responsible for Batania and Psy and, and stuff like that, both of which are in this one. Uh, Vasky makes some really good stable mods. Um, let's see what's in this. It's like Christmas. Light blue concrete. Don't necessarily need concrete, but we have it. Anyway, um, I am easily distracted. So, let's look at stencils. So, we're going to need a pickaxe head. Let's see, am I carrying them? I am. So we find the stencil table. Now, if you look, we actually have uh, tabs up here to switch between the tables. Now, 
that's cool and then you're asking why do we want it in this particular design so if you'll notice this it has access to the pattern chest the part builder um, well let, let's make the first one and I'll show you so we'll throw this in here and we'll make the pickaxe head and we'll throw it in the pattern chest now um, if we come over to the part builder we can click this and suddenly you know it's just floating out there but we can click it and it sticks it in here and any material that we put in here that you know um, that we want to use for example like wood or something it will allow us to to make a pickaxe head out of that um, it's really cool because different materials have different options and you can you can customize to whatever your current access level to materials and, and your current needs are. Um, I'm not going to to make any tools right at just this moment. So we're going to pull this out of the chest. Oh, it's not in the chest, it's here. So, claim it. All right, magical claiming music. And we're going to, to do this put another chest and have consecrated soil. So that's really cool. If we put that down, that will hurt undead. Um, I do believe that you can eventually make that into something to put on weapons to do extra damage to undead, but I am not sure. So let's go to this. Uh, X marks the spot. So we want to do a small binding pattern. We'll put it in our inventory. So when you close an inventory, that's when it updates. Let's see what X marks the spots. Maybe it requires both of them. Okay, and a tool rod. Tool rod. We knew that. Uh, tool rod pattern. All right. How about now? We magically good. We are. Sweet. So let's take one of these. This one requires shovels. Oh, and we got mycelium. Mycelium is great. Um, it will allow us to grow mushrooms for mushroom farms. Um, and a number of other things. So I believe we need a shovel. Now I'm just going to make some of the ones that I, I usually make because I suspect that we were going to need a lot of them. So that's for the pickaxe. Let's save for a sword. Go for one of those. Uh, we'll probably need that. Probably need that. Um, okay. I like this one. Okay, shovel apocalypse. All right. And that gives us this one. And that gives us this one. Man, we're like speed demons here. Check this out. Man, this is crazy. Podzle. Uh, Podzle is pretty cool. It's not as useful as my ceiling. Ah, see, now we have an umbrum sap umbrin sapling. So if we'll recall, this gave us the choice between umbrum, ethereal, and white cherry. So now we don't need to take this one. We can take one of these two. This is why we wait. Uh, plus, we won't carry it around, and I won't accidentally lose it somewhere like like usual. But we won't discuss that. No. E F L N explodes safe for mining. Tinker's construct. That is new to me. I have no idea what that does. I'm I'm guessing that it explodes and it is safe for mining, but that is just a guess. This is just a test. So let's go back to Tinker's again. So even sharper, sharpening kit pattern. Uh, I have never made a sharpening kit, like, ever, I think. Sharpening kit. But I understand that they can be very cool. Oh, we need to put this here and then close our inventory to update. Update. All right, look at us go. We, uh, we have completed an entire line of quests. Like great powder. 
So if I ever wanted to make concrete. We are we're like superheroes, man. Check this out. So now we're going to need flint for a bunch of things. I'm guessing that it's expecting us to make flint tools. We can do that. Uh, how much flint do I have right here first, actually? There's seven. There's nine. That, that should be enough. Um, we can put the rotten flesh in here because we're going to need space in our inventory. I told you I was disorganized. Don't, don't mock my my crazy, terribly bad organization skills. So, part builder. Let's start with one of these. Then one of these. Then one of these. One of these. I think we're probably going to need a couple of these. Uh, although I typically don't like to make them out of Oh man. I hate making them out of flint. Gotta go get some more flint. Coco Bolo door. I'm guessing that is a wood type. So let's let's go fetch some more flint really quick. Probably should have some garlic chicken. Let's have some garlic chicken. We'll throw that in there. Um, so now we need this one. Our first hole, so now we've done that. Let's clean that. Get that. Chop, chop, chop. Let's take one of these. Go. Ooh, shiny. So, we need a flint sword blade and a wooden wide guard. Nether wart block. That is actually really cool, because that's nether warts. And bear trap. I have never used a bear trap. That sounds fascinating and terrifying all at the same time. So, let us cruise over here. We need one more piece of flint, and then we should be good for basic tools. Here, flint, flint, flint. Uh, did somebody say that they needed a uh, an axe really quick? So let's. They've got axes, whatever. Okay, well, um, I'm not especially finding flint right now, but I'm going to show you secret magical things, um, and this is a secret, so, you know, don't tell anybody. Ta-da, flint. But that's a recipe added by Tinker's Construct because it does use flint pretty heavily. So, we need a flint sword blade. Let's try a sword blade. And a flint. Ah, we need two. Flint sword blade. Now we need one of these, and we need a wooden white guard. Now, I like wooden parts on my tools because they... Um, they recover slowly in early game. That can be very important. Sacred Oak Sapling. Um, that kind of frightens me. Maybe it's not as scary as the Sacred Rubber Sapling, which was just terrifyingly huge from uh, Mine Factory Reloaded. So we'll, we'll investigate the possibilities of that later. Um, and we will sleep chance to dream. It's a, it's a busy place.
All right, so let's look at quests really quick. Uh, looks like we're ripping right through this. Um, I'm actually quite familiar with Tinkers. There's a couple of things in it that I'm very fond of. Uh, and a couple of things that I I think are slightly more work than, than is worth doing. So next step, Heart of the Smeltery. We need a seared tank and a smeltery controller. Now I'm actually okay with making a second sear tank because until I get around to, to oh there's some, there's some glass uh, because until I, I get around to to better things um, it's the only thing that I have to smeltery controller I think it's just this yeah so they're basically the same recipe just one has glass in it Right. Man, we're like champions. So, leaky drains. Why do we need four drains? Um, that seems very excessive to me. Very excessive. Wow. Wow. I don't understand that. I really don't. I think that perhaps they are not counting very well. Because... Um, yeah. One of those, one of those, and one of those. Is that is that not what the quest requires here? Seared furnace. Oh wait, 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 wait. Smeltery controller. Wait, what? Yeah, this this seems very excessive to me. I I'm not sure that it is worth doing some of these. Whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, I, I, I feel that making four drains is, is, is a waste of my time and resources, um, just a complete and utter waste. So I, I disagree with that vehemently, to be quite honest. All right, we're going to make some tools here really quick because, uh, tools. Okay, so I, I also am just going to chuck these because I, I find that to be a waste as well. Um, and, and I'm going to chuck those. So one of the benefits, and, and maybe I'm not, you know, like the best at a lot of things, but one of the benefits to using tinkers is the ability to use alternate materials. So like I said, I know flint is easy to make, 
but I am quite fond of um, gosh I don't even know what I'm looking for uh, okay so I'm going to run back and actually just start making tools and, and you'll see what I mean Like, yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not probably the best at, at like really anything to do with Minecraft. I, by a long shot. Uh, so we're gonna take a bone wide guard, and then we're also gonna take, um, well, bone bindings are not really necessary. We're just gonna go with wood. And later on, these will definitely be improved and upgraded. So I really want the ecological thing. And we definitely don't need all of those. So let's make some two rods really quick. And I will, I will be upgrading a bunch of things. Don't, don't, don't worry. So we'll definitely make a pickaxe, because pickaxes are cool. I'm okay with starting with that. Um, ecological, ecological, ta-da. So we're going to call this There we go, biting sarcasm. So this is effectively a a stone pickaxe. Uh, you'll notice that the stats are, are actually fairly similar. Uh, it does slightly more damage. When we upgrade it for real, it will it will do good. So we'll put this in here. Stop carrying it around. Next step, we're going to do. I don't make axes. I, I pretty much just make these. Um, and again, I like having ecological. So it repairs itself. And I'm not going to be using it a lot. So it will keep itself in, in mostly perfect condition. And later on, I'll upgrade it. And I will never even have to worry about it. So we're going to go with, what should we call this? Let's see, this is Matic. You know, I would ask you guys for ideas, but, you know, I'm not sure that you can adequately convey them to me in the time it's going to take me to type this. And yes, I know that this is a long episode. I'm trying to make up for Monday being missing uh, and cover Tuesday as well. Uh, hopefully I will be able to, to have something up for Wednesday independent of this. We'll see. I, I should be able to manage it. Um, I... I know what I'm doing now, and my schedule is slightly easier now that the weekend has passed. Um, There we go. So now we need a sword. Because why wouldn't we need a sword? 
Um, so, fractured. I do believe that fractured means that as the, the weapon takes damage, it will do more damage. Um... Uh, Oh, and it does extra damage versus unarmored target. That's cool. We'll see how that how long that remains. Um, what do we want to call this one? Okay, so the steel sword does more damage, but we're still going to... Ooh. Monkeys. Alright, that was something. Apparently it is, uh... It's now nighttime. So let's, uh, cruise in here. Monsters nearby. monster. So the more we use the swords and, and the gear, the more they'll level up. Okay, there we go. This should fix a lot of things. And another thing that I can do is when we cruise over here. Hi. Hi. Inventory. We'll give you that. So it should actually switch to the higher level, higher damage sword. So yeah, I'm, I'm not making four of those. Um, that is just terrible. <laughs> no offense to the mod pack maker, but I have... Oh. Oh, that's going to be amazing for me. We'll get into that later. Clay, more clay. Um, I I will make some off camera just to complete the quest, and then I'm immediately going to throw them away. So I'm sorry that you guys won't get to see that. This is a drain. This is a faucet. Um. Yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, for the most part, this is everything that you need for a smeltery. Um, I'm going to put it over here for now. They can be moved, and, and I will move it later. I have to keep an eye on the time, um, not because I'm particularly worried about running over. Actually, I kind of am, um, because I need to worry about uh, storage space and converting the video. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm very traditional in my smeltery designs. I'm sorry if, if that offends people. So, uh, this one. Okay. Smeltery controller. We'll put the smeltery controller. I should just pick a spot and stick with it and stuff and things. 
strain. So, this is a functional smeltery. That is a functional zombie. So now you'll notice that um, this sword now has 76 XP. As it reaches 200, it will level up. Uh, it has three modifiers now, um, and it will become a, a better weapon, which is pretty fancy. So we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and as far as I'm concerned, this is everything that you need in the smeltery. Um, so, right off the bat, I'm going to make some iron ore. Oh no, let's not make some iron ore really quick. Let's actually start with something more reasonable. So, I thought I grabbed some. So that's copper. Maybe I put it back in the thing. I can check over here. So what we're looking for is aluminum, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and the reason we're looking for aluminum is I wish to make aluminum brass. So, what I'm kind of hoping, aluminum, there we go, what I'm kind of hoping is that as I make better tools for for the miner the miner will make will collect more ores for for us and so to make aluminum brass aluminum brass there we go we want to go to this one which is alloying and we are going to be one copper for three aluminum so we have two spots in here so we're going to go one, two, one, two. So you'll notice that some, some ores take longer to smelt than others. Um, yeah, I just, I don't understand. Some, some things are just very silly. Um, Another. Yeah, see, this is me, and I should not have have made all of the things that it wanted to make. And I've got four extra bricks on me, or somewhere around here. Four extra bricks. Like, I like quest books, but. You have to recall that people play packs differently. Um, I don't know. So, this is what we call a cast. It's very fancy. Magical, even. Um, it's probably not going to show up until we get through some of the rest of that. So I am, I'm not going to worry about it just this moment. What we're going to do... Did anybody else hear that? What we're going to do... Oh, that's me. Sweet. Is we're going to make some... First of all, let's think there's another chest in here. And we'll grab a pattern.
So that is a very weird thing. But so if you take a pattern and a chest, you get a pattern chest, right? Still with me? Um, okay, do not jump in that thing while it has liquids in it. Because if it has liquids in lava, you will get cooked. So, what I typically do is I will do this. Um, not specifically at that spot. Typically I will go higher. But, you'll look. It is now a... I don't know what cast chest. And if you break it, it will maintain its contents. So we're going to come over here and grab a bunch of cobble. We're going to pull this out and pull that out. Throw it in there, throw it in there. Throw that in there. So we're going to upgrade that to this, this, this. And we'll get that in a second. So, you guys with me? You seeing seeing the the plot here? Now you can also make these casts with gold, as I understand. Uh, well, I do know that you can actually do that. It's not not really a, a guess. Um, wow, the days are so short here. Or I'm, I'm doing this very slowly. Uh, even better. It's casting now, more tools, etc., etc. So I think we've actually made some good progress. I'm going to call it here again. I need to be concerned about how long it's going to take me to uh, to convert the video. It's now 52 minutes, which this is the longest video by far. Um, I feel that you guys have gotten all the bonus material you're going to get. Um, I guess if you watch videos like me at, at twice speed, um, I've got a friend who does that too. Uh, you'll get almost 25 minutes out of this nonsense. I hope it was a, a good for you. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't leave a like. Um, you know, questions, comments, concerns, uh, leave below. Um, hints, tips, etc. I, I could probably use them. Have a good night. Thanks for coming.